Hello everyone, welcome to the channel Rad here from Radko Tarot and this is going to be Gemini Sun, Gemini Moon and Gemini Rising Weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading for uh, October 15th to October 21st 2018 and uh, while I'm shuffling the cards uh, I want to remind you once again guys that this is uh, just a general reading for Gemini's star sign and it is not your personal reading therefore um, I will try my best to explain you the uh, meanings of the cards as well as their synergy in the spread but it falls to you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation now if you want me to do that for you then uh, this is a subject of a personal reading and uh, for personal readings please check out my website uh, which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you are going to find a, a full list of my services as well as their pricings and now let's go to the tarot reading first uh, this is going to be a four card spread the first card is about the topic of Gemini's week the second card is about the core of the situation third card uh, is going to be the challenges which are causing predicaments and the last card that is going to be the guidance the tarot is offering for you Gemini's so let's see what you have uh, that will be the king of pentacles so this topic is just as the same as I if I can recall Aries and uh, that will be a week of capitalization and uh, sustainability if I may express myself that way so it's what is going to be important all in all in this week is to really pay a uh, close attention to the uh, ongoing um, responsibilities and also the current tasks that are running around you this this particular card is not very favorable for those who are seeking um, <clears throat> new varieties in their life and in general I think the word was um, the versatility you know to, to have many many things new to uh, to kind of attend to. It will be more important throughout the week Gemini's to really focus on the tasks that are yet placed or not yet but are currently placed in front of yourself and to not kind of make up a, a new tasks which could really complicate uh, the week and could deprive you from having even enough time to take, in, to take care of your already current responsibilities and um, duties when we're talking about the king of pentacles it is important as well to be acknowledged that should you need some help in particular that card is a clear goal that you need to bring some connections into the matter and also some friends as well who can truly truly help you out there with um uh, with your you know undertakings and as well when we're talking about the king of pentacles it is important to know that this week uh, you will be able to make some well found investments of time money efforts and um, devotion as well because devotion is also a resource that we can work with <clears throat> the next card here which is um, the very core of the situation or why the king of pentacles is taking place that will be the five of cups and now we do have so much more to work with to understand what will be the situation so what looks like it's gonna happen throughout the week is that you will see that something is getting out of hand all right and you will have to attend to it even though it was not very well scribed in your plans all right so that is something additionally that you need to take care of and although you could sustain it before now as it is going out of hand it will require more attention and more devotion than usually does because the five of cups it's a card of a partial loss all right this is not the entire lot so the things aren't um beyond the line of irreversibility which means that you can totally manage whatever crisis or whatever uh, you know <clears throat> a poignant situation is created and especially if we're talking here about relationships you know you may uh, discover you know that your partner didn't done what they are supposed to do regarding a certain uh, task or regarding a certain agenda uh, you know very mm, I can give you here on an example uh, if you are in a family you do have a children in, and this week it's your partner's turn 
to uh, to pick up the kids from school, but they have something obviously more important to do, or not obviously, but seemingly more important to do, and they have passed that responsibility, let's say, to a, a neighbor. Uh, you kind of realize that, and you attend to it, even though you know it, it was your partner' responsibility, and it is a partial loss because you may end up disappointed. You know that you can't count on your partner um, with with these kind of uh, you know with these kind of undertakings, but nothing much more to be done at least for now. Um, rather than you taking the, the things in your own hands and do what is uh, necessary to be done. So what we do have with this uh, particular combination is that if you want to do something right, you got to do it yourself and you can't expect that someone is going to do it for you. Uh, more or less, uh, this, uh, this specific combination also gives you... Um, something to think of in a sense of that um, if you are having those kind of predicaments in your life and those kind of difficulties which are making you feel useless and literally useless here it's like you you know well I, I don't know the English term of it but it's kind of like knowing that you can do much more but in the same time you aren't because of certain circumstances this um, this combination here points that if the circumstances does not align themselves on their own accord it is you who are going to do something about it and is going to align them so you can make a difference here all right Literally, that's that. So, what we do have thus far from the reading is that, um, <clears throat> you know, a partial loss of, um, of faith, you know, a partial loss of something material or um, a partial loss of trust will kind of like provoke you to take the matters in your hand and um, kind of like sustain, you know, what you already have built and what you already, you know, possess on your plate. The next card that is going to be, that will be the uh, challenges which are causing predicaments. And um, this is kind of a challenge here, actually, because even though you may hope that your efforts and your um, attempt to make difference will make a difference into the eyes of others that may not take place because the death card sitting into a challenging position if we go with the example of your husband you know not taking kids uh, not taking your children from the school uh, even though you are doing it even though you're talking to them that you know you are an example of what they should do it doesn't look like that they will make a, a big note of it so the death card in that specific case points that you should not fight against uh, you know those which are unwilling or these situations which are unwilling to change because uh, especially when we do have the death card that is not something that can be forced the death card is so natural I mean they have to see it with their own eyes they 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 need to feel that natural in, and if they don't, well, obviously you need to think about doing something about it, you know, um, and under doing something about it, I mean changing something in yourself and not into them. So that card here points that the challenge will be uh, to realize that no one will change because you are giving an example of yourself or nothing will change because you're giving an example of yourself. So what you have to do here, Gemini, in this week is to work for yourself generally and not to just you know, uh, a work for those who can take advantage of your um, of your achievements, literally said, further into the future. That being said, let's give a, a little bit of an example about career now. That could be a project that you have developed this far, but now it is in a stage that someone else needs to do it, uh, or it needs to be passed into someone else's hands. You are attending into something else, but recently you, have, you are to realize that they really screwed up with your work and especially if that affects um, let's say clients so you are a negotiator you negotiate the price you negotiate the the, the, the deadline frame etc etc and you have passed the um, 
the project to the retailers, to the executors, and they really fucked up the deal. So you will need to come back into it so you can consolidate it once again. All right, so it's kind of like cleaning up a mess, and if you expect that they will kind of like um, make a note of it and they won't do that again, well, you are mistaken because they don't simply care. It is what is displayed here with the cards. So, um, it's basically you need to uh, make yourself resign that this is what how it's going to be with a certain portion of your work and just move on. Uh, of course, if it doesn't suit you, well, then, then that will be the change that you need to make, which will come tough, but obviously you got to change your work or your job. And the last card here is pointing to the challenge, uh, to the guidance, excuse me, that Saro has to offer. And the Moon card, in the grand scheme of things, guys, asks you to have bigger, clamorous beliefs for what is yet to come. This card, first of all, points that that will be a necessary period of time for yourself so you can grow. I mean, right now you may not see how this will come together, but it will into the future. When we do have the Moon card, no one can tell you, not even a tarot reader, because the Moon card usually shrouds um, what is to come and no one can can actually predict it but the only thing that the moon card says is that what you're experiencing throughout the week you know going one step back so you can again you know stabilize what you have worked for it's very important and uh, the importance it could lie as well into the fact that you could find some important matters that you have overlooked it and now they require uh, let's say additional attention right but nonetheless um, here what we do have is that throughout the week the moon card the uh, profound level of interpretation tells you guys that you can truly incorporate your your vision in a sense of um, combining you know your imagination with your creativity and by revisiting you know your situation which you have to consolidate and capitalize on um, you can kind of develop it to its very maximum so you can still have what to gain from it so pretty much that was uh, the tarot reading here with a couple of examples and now let's see what the Lenormand cards has to say for you uh, what the Lenormand cards are going to show us guys is a uh, event that you should either uh, look forward to or try to avoid. So let's get them. Let's see what we do have. That will be the dog. Now the dog stands for loyalty. The dog stands for faithful friend. <laughs> I am pretty much uh, that's that. Now the uh, path. The next car that we do have. This is going to be the path. The path stands for decision choices and also multiple ways of taking into something. And the last one that is going to be the um, the moon card, which uh, in the Norman the moon represents fame. It represents recognition and also represents how people see you. So what we do have here is a, a triversion of one's opinion. Once that someone saw you as a very irresponsible person, now they see you other way around. They see you very faithful. That is a multiple way of how people see you. And it is basically this card as are po these cards are pointing in on an event that someone will change their opinion for the better towards you. But you kind of revisiting and consolidating your mm, your situations without um, or rather like instead of saying well whatever you know I did my job and whatever happens happens you know because you can obviously do something about it so just to summarize here the reading for you Gemini's uh, this week is going to be rather annoying because uh, you have to revisit something uh, very important in your life uh, because of the mistake of someone else and uh, it, it will be uh, it will be aggravating you know uh, kind of cleaning up the mess of um, that others created for you and unfortunately they will not care as much as you do but that is something that you need to go along with 
because uh, this time around when you develop when you come back to revisit it and when you come back to fix the errors that someone else did uh, you will be able to kind of surpass your expectations you will be able to even make it better than it was before not to mention that as I said there could be some important matters that are regarding even something else that could be attended here which are going to make your life much much more easier and not to mention that the benefit of all that is going to be that you make really a strong impression into someone that will play a role further into the future but it's not going to be the one who made up the mess that you have to clear so that being said Gemini's this was your uh, weekly tarot and uh, Lenormand reading for uh, October 15th to October 21st 2018 I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it and as I said this was just a general reading for Gemini star sign and it was not your personal reading therefore I did my best to explain you the meanings of the cards and uh, their synergy in the spread but it falls to you to uh, make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation if you want me to do that for you well that is a subject of personal reading and for personal readings please check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you're going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings. Rat signing out now. See you next time. Bye.